Coming up in this video, this drink is awesome. It's a honey, mango, and cucumber mule. Welcome back Drink Stuff fans in this video. I'm diving into the honey syrup again. I love the honey syrups. Uh, I actually created this cocktail. Um, I was gonna say created, but I, I, there's been versions of it around for donkey's years, but I created this cocktail for a Zoom online masterclass that I did probably about six weeks ago now, but it was a non-alcoholic version. And I just wanted to show you the kind of alcoholic version. Now, it's very, very easy to make this non-alcoholic. Um, the spirit that I've got coming up, just ignore it, just forget it. If you want this as a virgin uh, cucumber mango mule, be my guest, it works. I promise you it does work. But for this, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll, it's gin based. Uh, so we've got gin in there. Oh, honestly, there's something about, I know you're probably looking at this thinking, cucumber? Mango, honey, what are you thinking? I promise you, just go with it. It works, an absolute treat. Simply, honey honey and mango uh, works exceptionally well together. For some reason, cucumber and mango work very, very well together. The gin that I've got in there comes through. There's a little, um, I'll talk you through the ingredients in a second, but I've got some bitters in there as well. Honestly, this is a stunning, stunning summer serve and it'd actually be awesome. Do you know like you get the jugs of pims and lemonades? It's coming up to like summer barbecue season and outdoor parties. This would be awesome in a jug. You know, big old jug, make a jug up of it, make a batch up of it, serve it, you know, with your friends outside. This would be stunning for that. Right, let's crack on. I'm excited to show you how to make this. Obviously, uh, we've got Monin's honey syrup there. As you know, if you're gonna make honey syrup yourself, two parts honey, one part water, uh, just to make it looser, more honey, but Monin uh, drinks I've obviously sell. And I, you, I go through tons of it. I just prefer to buy, buy it, it's simple. Um, gin, that's what I've gone for in this. Uh, I know this is gonna work with vodka. I know this is gonna work with rum. Have a little play about. Gin is phenomenal in this. Uh, lemon juice. Ginger beer, can you see that popping out the side there? Mango juice, uh, I, you don't have to use this. Uh, I've gone pa uh, Payshord bitters, slightly less punchier than uh, Ang Angostura aromatic bitters, but they're still an aromatic bitters, all right? And then just some fresh cucumber. So, uh, seven ingredients, so right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ingredients, that's quite a lot for me, isn't it? Right, so uh, we're gonna do some muddling in here first. So I've got about an inch of cucumber. About just about an inch, and I've just diced it up into little cubes. Doesn't matter, just chop it up because you're going to muddle it down. So, uh, I've got some cucumber. I am going to go for actually, I'm going to do my citrus first. Sorry, barman, wrong way around. Uh, and I'm going for 15, one five mil of um, freshly squeezed or lemon juice, whatever you freshly squeezed if you're at home or obviously drink stuff, sell uh, this stuff. And that's just great to have lying around. So, 15 mil, uh, half an ounce of lemon juice. And the lemon juice will just uh, normally we kind of muddle down with sugar, but lemon juice will just kind of help break the cucumber down a little bit more. And cucumber, I know you're, th I know you're sitting there thinking this is weird. What cucumber, really? Uh, trust me, go with it. It works. It really does work. So, we've got our rolling pin, our muddler, whatever you've got at home, and uh, we're just going to kind of puree down all the cucumber. Get all those. Just turn it into it. As I just said, just turn it into a nice puree. Cucumber and mango, I promise you works a treat. Really does. Right, that'll do for now. That'll do. Uh, and I, I, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of, mango, of cucumbers either. I'm, you know, I might have them in a sandwich, but I, I don't, I'm not a huge cucumber, but the flavors of this taste brilliant. Trust me, go with it. Right, uh, honey syrup. Uh, so I'm going 15 ml, half an ounce of uh, honey syrup. Yeah. Right, that's my kind of sweetener. Right, now we're going for our gin, just a decent, if you want, mate, if you're gonna go gin, just a decent sort of London dry gin. The juniper notes work very, very well with this. So, uh, double bubble, two ounces, 60 mil of just a decent dry gin. We've done that, we've got, uh, we're gonna go for the pastry bitters, so I'll try and get a close up on them. Uh, they are very, very well known in the cocktail world, it's just that Angostura bitters would be the go-to, but I just wanted something not quite as punchy as um, Angostura for me. So I'm going for two dashes of pastry one, two. 
And then I'm going for some, I've got this open from a couple of days ago. I'm going for some uh, just mango juice, whatever. What, uh, I think mango and cucumber, that's the flavors I'm going for here. So if you can get a plain mango juice, Rubicon in the UK is pretty much most supermarkets, so you get it. Uh, and I'm going for 30 mil, so one ounce of Mango juice, mango puree, if you wanted to. If you're gonna use mango puree, or especially like the coolie that you can get in supermarkets in the UK, bear in mind that's sugar-based, so you, you're gonna make it a lot sweeter, so just balance out your cocktail with fresh lime juice or whatever. Right, that's it for now. Um, ice this up, and then good old, good old power shake. 10, 12 seconds. Right, there we go, there we go. Now, I've got my ginger beer there. Just open because I, I used it in the cocktail before this one. I've I'm back shooting today. So uh, I'm going for 60 mil of ginger beer. Excuse me. Again, dial it down if you want um, ginger ale. Fine. I do love ginger beer though. And gin and ginger beer is a good combo. It does work. So uh, going two ounces, 60 mil in there. Now, if you are the sort of person that doesn't like bits, strain it. Okay, if you don't like bits in your drink, that's fine. I've encountered so many people that don't like bits in their drinks. Absolutely fine. Strain it out. For me, I'm not particularly bothered. I kind of like, I like the sort of the effect it gives. So I'm just gonna just simply just pour this straight in. Lovely. And then just to simply garnish, whatever, I've got a sprig of mint here. If you're lucky enough to get fresh mango, go for some fresh mango, it's like, or frozen mango, whatever. But here we go. Pop it up on screen right there will be even more morning cocktail inspiration for you to dive into. So dive into one of those videos. As always, if you like me, if you like the video, big old thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of our future content, make sure you subscribe to the channel.